All right, in the lab, you're going to use a refractometer, and it's a pretty cool eyepiece thing, right? This is going to give you a very accurate level of the freezing point of coolant. <clears throat> now, when you look through this thing, you're going to see all kinds of different things on here. In an engine, on a car, we are always ethylene glycol, always. We are not propylene glycol. When you look through this eyepiece, you will see both scales. Make sure you're looking at the ethylene glycol rating. Now, what I do in the classroom is I take this little window, I open it up, I wipe this off, and I put a bead of water on it. Then when we hold it up to the light, this blue box comes right down to 32 degrees. It, it, it magically slides all the way down to it. So then I wipe that off, and then we take a bead of coolant, we put the coolant through there, and the box rises up to wherever it is, minus 40 minus 30, minus 28, um, and it gives you a, a pretty solid number. Um, this is part of your lab, should you have to do it. And remember, you're looking at ethylene glycol when you do this. Now there's pH tabs, right? You, you have a test strip, just like you would in a pool, and it's gonna give you the pH of the, of the coolant. And naturally, seven is the magic number. <clears throat> we'll see that uh, numbers are usually about seven and a half or, or so, right? If the, um, if the pH is too basic, we get mineral deposits. <clears throat> if the pH is too acidic, uh, we end up with um, corrosive natures to it. We also have um, uh, electrical, um, um, leakage into cooling systems uh, that can tell us our, our health of our cooling system, uh, our, our charging system um, as well, right? When we have that happening, that creates um, uh, uh, an erosion of the metals inside the cooling system if we have uh, uh, electrical voltage leaking into it, right? So we see that seven is considered um, less than seven is an acid, greater than seven is alkaline, right? When we look at new coolants, we'll see um, IATs are nine to 10.5, OATs are seven and a half to eight and a half, HOTs are 7.5 to 8.5, FOTs are 7.5 to 8.5, and when their coolant uh, is used, uh, we all of them can be somewhere between seven and a half and 10, right? So it just gives you another um, identification of the condition of that cooling. Now, this is um, a higher level pH, right? A lot more efficient than the um, than the test strips, right? Notice that it can't be used for red or orange coolants. We don't have one of these, but know they exist. And now, this is the last part. I want you to watch this all the way through, and um, look at how this cooling system works, really look how a thermostat operates.